This is Chris Downs with IMTS TV. I'm here at the Form Alloy booth in West Hall and I'm here with Melanie Lang, who is the co-founder of the company. Melanie, could you tell me a little bit about how, you, how and why you started this company? Sure, so I came from an aerospace engineering background and I was always looking for ways to be able to build complex geometry, high value components very quickly and at a reasonable cost. And this technology can do just that. Great, so tell me a little bit about how your company differs from some of the other ones that are already out there in the market. Sure, so our company utilizes laser metal deposition or direct energy deposition technology. Our technology is scalable, so you can use it to make very small parts. It can also be scaled for very large parts that are measured in meters. Uh, we also specialize in uh, gradient and bimetallic parts, so we can have up to four different materials working at the same time, either mixing and blending or on a layer-by-layer -layer basis. So you can do a, a quick transition to a different material or a slow, very controlled transition from one material to another. Great, and can you tell me a little bit about this machine behind it as part of your X-Series, correct? That's right, this is the new X-Series that we released earlier this year. It is a scalable build volume, it can be used in an inert environment for reactive materials and also in an ambient environment. Uh, we can work with multiple wavelength lasers depending on the materials that the user is uh, planning to use for the builds. And we have a new technology that we call dynamic layer selection in which the part is scanned after each layer is built to detect any defects or errors with the part as it's built. And what's the benefit for the customer that they're going to see out of that? So the customer can gain uh, trust and uh, repeatability and accountability with our process by seeing each layer as it's built and comparing that to the actual part file to ensure that it's within specs and that there's no uh, errors or uh, defects as it builds up. Fantastic. And can you tell me a little bit about what Form Alloy sees as the future of manufacturing and how your company fits into that? Sure. So really where we see it uh, additive manufacturing going is transitioning from prototyping to production. So right now it's, it's very common for customers to use additive manufacturing for prototyping purposes. It's a little less common for production. Uh, as customers get more comfortable with the technology and realize that you can get fully dense parts and you can see into the process uh, on a layer by layer basis of how it's being built, we believe it will transition where they can use this technology for full scale production. So Melanie, could you tell me a little bit about what you're holding right now? This is a deposition head? That's right. This is our Formax laser metal deposition head. And how this works is powder is blown out of the outer nozzle of the coaxial nozzle, and then it's heated with a laser, and it builds up layer by layer. So you can use this to build parts for an additive application, and you can also use it for repair and cladding. Fantastic. And I see you also have a sample part there that you'd like to show off. Is that correct? Yes, yeah, so this is a sample part we made with the X-Series that you see behind us. Uh, this is a sample rocket nozzle component. Uh, you can see the very complex geometries that we can do with the internal cooling chain channels built into the wall. Uh, we've also added a clad for reinforcement out of a different material. And then we added a flange here just to show off the ability to add features to existing parts. Now, so you've got another part in your hand, a gradient part. Could you tell us what that is? Sure, so with our system, you can do gradient or bimetallic parts. Uh, we have up to four different uh, materials that can be used in a single build. So this gradient part is three different materials that we use to build up where we transition slowly from Inconel 625 to Inconel 718 to Stellite. Awesome, and I know that you guys are a member of America Makes. Could you talk to me a little bit about that partnership? Sure, we are a new proud member of America Makes and we're just looking forward to the opportunity to expand uh, the innovation and research that we do at Formaloy and also help the adoption of our technology in the industry. Awesome, and not only that, but you guys actually won an honorable mention for the Innovation Award here at IMTS 2018. What does that mean for you? Well, I'm very honored to receive an award uh, with such cloud at a show like this with so many exhibitors. Uh, so we're very proud that we are one of the out of manufacturing companies that was honored. It truly makes me believe that we are doing the right thing and we're leading innovation and we're helping transition to additive manufacturing becoming more mainstream. Melanie, thank you so much for your time. If you would like to learn more about Form Alloy, be sure to come over to the West Hall and visit their booth, or you can go to the website formalloy.com.
This is Chris Downs for IMTS TV signing off.